India plans to completely transform the agriculture sector's dependence on renewable energy by the beginning of 2024. Solar energy in India is also advancing at a rapid pace, towards achieving a shift in the coming years amid great government interest and support. India also plans to generate a fifth of the country's electricity needs from the renewable energy sector by 2030. In this video, we will show you the biggest renewable energy projects in India. But first, do not forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. India provides a favorable climate for the expansion of the solar module industry. And it is working to intensify its production capabilities in a move to reduce its dependence on imports. In the next four years, India expects to have huge capabilities to manufacture solar modules. Backed by strong domestic demand, favorable government policies and price competitiveness. The solar module manufacturing capacity in India is set to grow by almost 400 percent. From 8 gigawatts to 38 to 43 gigawatts by the end of March 2025. It is expected that 30 to 35 gigawatts of production capacity for the new units will be implemented by the end of the 2024 to 2025 fiscal year. Diesel accounts for two-fifths of the fuel consumed in India. The agricultural sector is the largest on which it depends. India is the third largest oil importer in the world. The agricultural sector in India is currently dependent on diesel fuel. New Delhi aims to convert it to green energy, as part of a plan to switch to clean fuel sources. India plans to completely transform the agriculture sector's dependence on renewable energy. With the beginning of 2024 and the complete elimination of diesel fuel. India is witnessing a huge leap in the renewable energy sector. Amid expectations of potential investments of more than $15 billion in 2022, these investments will see India expand into electric vehicles, green hydrogen and solar equipment. It also has an ambitious goal of generating the majority of its electricity from clean sources. India, which has an installed renewable capacity of just over 150 gigawatts, aims to reach a capacity of 175 gigawatts in 2022. It is among the total renewable energy mix. It will be 100 gigawatts of solar, 60 gigawatts of wind. 10 gigawatts of bioenergy, and 5 gigawatts of micro-hydro projects. India plans to invest more than $1.6 billion in a project it calls Green Corridor. With the aim of linking renewable energy projects to the national electricity grid, a plan to build transmission lines was approved at a cost of $1.61 billion. More than five years to connect 20 gigawatts of renewable energy projects from seven states to the electricity grid. The project comes as New Delhi seeks to expand clean energy projects. As part of plans to reduce emissions from the energy sector, to achieve carbon neutrality. India is also the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. India aims to reduce its projected emissions by 1 billion tons by 2030 and raising electricity generation from renewable energy sources to 430 gigawatts. That's about half of the country's energy mix. In the first phase of the Green Corridor project, renewable energy plants that will be completed during the current year will be connected. India is building 9,700 kilometers of circular transmission lines. India also revealed that it would provide assistance equivalent to about a third of the total investment of $1.61 billion. Expansion of transmission lines is required in the second phase of the so-called Green Corridor project. The scheme will also add about 10,750 kilometers of transmission lines to the projects in western Gujarat, the desert state of Rajasthan, the northern state of Himachal Pradesh, the states of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka. Kerala and southern Andhra Pradesh. India's Reliance plans to generate a fifth of the country's electricity needs from the renewable energy sector by 2030. This green hydrogen company will be its most important component. Reliance aims to achieve carbon neutrality by 2035, 
and generate 100 gigawatts of renewable electricity by 2030. It is also looking for locations for its projects in Gujarat. The government has demanded the acquisition of 450,000 acres in the white desert of Kutch on the west coast. It is preferable to establish renewable energy projects. Reline is also investing $75 billion in renewable energy out of the said amount. $75 billion is one of the largest public announcements in the field of renewable energy in India. Solar energy in India is making great leaps in the coming years. Amidst great government interest and support, it submitted a proposal to establish a number of solar energy projects with a capacity of 10,000 megawatts. It entails investing $6,681 billion over the next five years in Rajasthan, India. Commercial production of the projects will begin in phases. The generated electricity will be transmitted to the beneficiaries through nearby substations. It has announced the construction of 10,000 megawatts of renewable energy park projects. These projects will also lead to social and economic development in the project areas. It will open areas for direct and indirect employment of about 15,000 people. In a new collaboration to produce green hydrogen, India's Larsen and Tubro has announced a collaboration agreement with Norway's Hydrogen Pro to manufacture GW Green Hydrogen Electrolyzer in India. Under this agreement, Larsen and Tubro and Hydrogen Pro will collaborate to create a joint venture in India to manufacture alkaline water electrolyzers on a gigawatt scale. Based on Hydrogen Pro technology for the Indian market and other selected geographies, India is a very suitable environment for green hydrogen production. Because of the low costs of generating renewable electricity from solar PV sources and the abundance of wind energy, Hydrogen Pro is also targeting a production cost of green hydrogen of $1.20 per kilogram in 2022. Its main offer is the manufacture of high-pressure alkaline electrolyzer. In addition, its new electrode technology allows to reduce the cost of electrical energy, which makes up 70 to 90 percent of the cost of producing green hydrogen. India hopes to achieve energy security by reducing its growing energy import bill and access to the green alternative for industries whose emissions are difficult to mitigate. The demand for green hydrogen is expected to grow in India. Up to 2 million metric tons per year by 2030. In line with the state's green hydrogen policy, which requires investments of up to $60 billion. In your opinion, can India succeed in these projects? Is there any information we didn't mention? Write it in the comments. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. So we are working on uploading more projects.